but we just got to fit it into the academic experience that you're going to have here because you know the biggest difference is like we don't have 6 a.m to 1 p.m available for our players to get everything they could possibly need to get done as a football player um before they head off to class like these guys will have a 9 a.m class um so it's got to be more segmented but the reality is um you know what you need to do to be an elite football player uh you can do here you just have to plan out your day accordingly um, because it's, it is going to be more segmented where I'll get my workout in the morning. All right. I got to head back, to, head over to class. All right. Let me get back over here and get in the jugs and find my receiver. Um, get over here and get some recovery. Stop by and see my coaches and, and, and watch the tape. Like that stuff, that stuff is all available to them. Um, just have to be more intentional with your time because what we'll never do is tell uh, a, pl- a student on this team, like you can't major in this or you can't take this class because right. of football. Like, that's just not what the Ivy League model is all about. It's about being a true student athlete. Um, mm-hmm. So there's like a balance that they need to understand. Like, I'm going to I'm going to help them be an elite football player. And we're going to we're going to have the mindset of, all right, we're going to maximize this thing and and do as much as we possibly can um, within the rules. But it's got to fit around your schedule as, as a student. And, you know, the team has a wide variety 